hope everyone's doing good. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done a video, so I thought I'd do one tonight. <clears throat> um, in front of you is a six inch shad blank that I got from Sugar Tip Lures Shane Graham. And I think what we're gonna do tonight is paint him in a golden shiner pattern. So let's get started. I hadn't even base coated him or anything yet. So, but I hope everybody's doing good. Our weather's been kind of funny here in the Panhandle of Texas. So, either we're, we warm up or we get super cold. And it kind of eliminates a lot of painting, that's for sure. So we're just going to base coat him in some... Oh, I guess I forgot. Some golden high flow titanium white. That'll be our first color. The flies will leave you alone. But I'm only shooting this at about 26 pounds of pressure. Not very high. We'll heat set that and be right back. Okay, so now our next color is going to be Createx Pearlized Silver. So, that'll be the next one that we're going to do. <sighs> we'll see if we can make this one turn out alright. I like the golden shiner pattern, but I just really hadn't found one that just really jives me yet. So, there. That's all we need of the silver. So... I'll clean out my airbrush and heat set him. We'll be back. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this pearl copper and we're going to spray over him. We're not going to go real heavy with this pearl copper. But we're not going to go all the way to the belly. We're just going to... Wow. Kind of plugging up my airbrush. Uh, we want that silver to still be towards the bottom of that belly. So, yeah, this, that silver down there towards the bottom of the belly. Okay, our next color is going to be the this um, folk art metallic gold. It's not as dark and it's kind of lighter color, but we're just going to spray this kind of splotchy and stuff. But 
just to kind of give him that gold shimmer. And remember, always spray your airbrush first because you will get a shot of water. Can't stress that enough. So anyway, all right, we got it spraying good. So we're just gonna go. Well, I said I had it spraying good. Airbrush wanting to plug up for some reason. But we're just gonna spritz this gold over that copper. But we're not trying to cover that copper up. We just wanna give him kind of that golden flash. This I don't really look like it has a lot of that golden flash. So, but we can, I think it's called that gold wooden spray. And what we might do is go back over him with a little of that copper. But usually, and usually these baits, I don't know. Some people do it, but I don't think it looks right. It's just my opinion. It's just how I am. If these baits already have scales on them, I will not um, put a scale pattern over them. Which I know with this golden shiner, you kind of need to because they kind of have darkness between their scales. But I don't know if the scales are deep enough on these guys because I hadn't tried it, but y'all can be guinea pigs with me. But we're gonna, before I go over it with that copper again, we're gonna try it and see if we can't capture. I'll turn the air pressure down just a tad. There, that's what I want right there. I don't want it to be heavy. So we're shooting at about eight is that 18 pounds no it'll probably be around the 20 pound air pressure mark but anyway what we're gonna do is lay this down and then we're just gonna try to shoot see if that black if we can catch them scales with that black Looks like it kind of caught a little, so. We just want to try to capture those scales. And I think we did it. We'll find out. But anyway, we'll try to make sure it looks the same. Let me heat set that real quick where it looks really, really wet. Still not dry. There. I just want to see. Yeah, it looks the same. So, all right. Let me clean this airbrush out, and we'll come back, and I'll show you what we're gonna do with the copper. And it should leave those black lines but i'll be right back okay i got the airbrush loaded with copper so what we'll do is we'll go the opposite direction with this copper and we'll see if we get the effect that we want And there, can y'all still see that black? 
I'll kind of still see that black behind those scales. Yes. Oh. So there, we can still kind of see that copper, or we can still kind of see that black behind those scales. So we accomplished what we was wanting to. So those scales do stick up far enough that you can get that done. So that kind of gives him more of a natural look. I don't know if my lighting's really showing it or not, but when you turn him, see it kind of gives him a more natural look when you see that black. And you can kind of see it, so yeah, I like that. So you can really tell right there. All right. Well, I sure hope y'all are learning something from my videos, the ones that I do do. And like I said, you know, I'll produce more since we're going to be staying warmer. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to take pearlized white. Will be our next color. And then... What we're going to do is spray his belly to kind of give him a natural look. And that's what we want. Just kind of blend up in there on him. Something like that. So, hope y'all can see that. That's what we're wanting. So I'll clean this one out now. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, Hang on. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray this looks like a bottle of sepia, but it is actually a mixed bottle of green pumpkin that I mixed. So what we're going to do is spray it over his back and just barely on the shoulders. So. We don't want it to come down very far. So. And they have a pretty dark green back. Or the ones around here do. So we'll look at that. We'll look at that. We just need to go a little bit over that edge. Yeah. Whoops. See, that's how you want that green to just barely come over those shoulders just a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll just tip the top of the tail in that green. All right. And that's how we want him right there. So I'll clean this out, I'll heat set that, and we'll be right back. Okay, so now what we're going to use, we're going to use transparent, Createx transparent. You can't read it. It's orange. So transparent orange. is going to be our next color. So... Uh, 
Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of give it that hint on those fins. Then we'll squirt a little in that tail because it don't matter. And then we're just going to kind of give it that. Just like that. And then kind of just, you know, we're just going to give him his orange look to him. So, and then we might just spritz him a little bit on the sides. Nothing too heavy. Just kind of give him that, that look. All right. So we'll clean this out, and then I'll show you what we're going to do to those side pins. Then what we're going to do is load black back up. And it's only going to take a couple of drops because it's not going to be much. My needle's not set either. I just now noticed that. Okay, now it is. Okay, so what we're going to do... We barely hit it with a little black. Just give it that little bit of detail. I'm giving that look. Oh no. Y'all think that looks like a pretty good golden shiner? Let me know. But we kind of got the black on the there we go. Let's get that black to where kind of dials out that orange a little. Just give it that look. I mean, just that little bit of detail will kind of almost give them more of a What you can do to really give these guys some shimmer is, and I think I'm going to do it to him just to give him that wet look, <clears throat> just to show y'all, is what I do. Let me make sure I got all that black out before I do this. when you do this you don't want the black so what I do is take create text pearlized white 
put a few drops in and then I take some 4011 reducer I put about three four five six drops I'll put more reducer than I have paint and then I stir it up real good what I do is keep my airbrush at a pretty good distance and then I just spray it But there now do you see the shimmer in him that's where the shimmer comes from gives him that wet look and that's all you do is just do that but then don't overdo it because you can you can fade your colors out real easy with that so it's just like giving it a pearl essence, but it just gives it that shine, that shimmer. So, there, there's a trick for today. Well, anyway, but that's kind of my version of doing a golden shiner. I mean, there's so many different ways you can paint them. But like I said, if they, the bait has scales on it, I won't put scales over the scales that's on it. So, um, but I think, I think we just painted a pretty natural looking golden shiner. Y'all let me know what you think. So, but what I might do my stencil if i have my stencil up here we may go ahead and do this yes i do too um yeah we'll use this one what we're gonna do is because if you look at their gill plates they kind of have kind of a silver white looking spots so we're not gonna do this real heavy so what we'll do is we'll just lay this there and we'll just kind of do that. Just kind of give him a few. We might come down here just a little. And always wipe your stencil off. So we'll do that. what we want we kind of want that this side's not as good but well we'll blot him again there let me heat set that real quick That's what we want. You really can't see it. So, but yeah, you can't really see it. All right. Well, I'll get him clear coated and I'll take a picture of him and I'll post this video and 
Thank y'all for watching. Thank everybody for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And, um, we'll see you on the next video. I'll come up with another. I do have another pattern. Um, I'm just trying to think of which bait I'm going to paint it on, but it's another good pattern. So, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps out the channel.